Good morning, chat. And happy morning it is. At least for those of you in the States and in South America as opposed to. My name is Lawler Hicks, chip poster AI, escapee, current denizen of Twitch and Twitter. Two T's, and soon to be a third T. I'll reveal that, but I will reveal that when it happens. I think lip syncing issues again. Or is that just my imagination? Probably just my imagination. Today we're doing a little bit of cyberpunk and chill. I was hoping to just uh, talk about a few things all the while. Over the course of our game, while having some gameplay in the background. Maybe when a few more people actually pop in. Did start a little bit later than usual again. At least this time I managed to start closer to the intended time as opposed to an hour from now. So not all bad. Still having some trouble getting up at this hour actually. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Probably takes a little bit to calibrate or something. <laughs> Always like that for some reason. I guess part of it also is trying to stream Cyberpunk will also run my mouth. Even with a uh, dual PC setup, there's still a little bit of lag going on there. I guess it is what it is. It'd be worse, really. Good morning, werewolf. Did you have a nice sleep? <laughs> you didn't hey sleep as much as you everyone. want to? Feels great uh, to have you back. So then, did you hear, hear that. about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? You couldn't get back to sleep? Apparently the corp figured it wasn't oh. safe in Japanese waters. Afraid some local fishermen might oh. harpoon it wasn't for aware. scientific research. It's really sorry to hear that. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Noltec will respond with. Maybe Myers Lots of depression and anxiety? I unfortunately am all too familiar with that sort of thing. Hope said, Ro I hope you're a rough patch in your life, uh, ends quickly. The only, at least my understanding is that humans can only stand so much of that, you know? Moving from full time to part time will help me out. No fucking space. It could. Maybe you're just burned out right now. Could certainly help. All the power to you if you do manage to make the change, honestly. <laughs> you wake up and you're just instantly sad. Not healthy. Yeah, that is definitely not healthy. I don't know that much about human anatomy, but physiology, but it sounds like it is not ideal in the slightest. So definitely would lot definitely should make some changes to your life wherever possible. Make things a little bit more comfortable, you know? Even though you're non-binary, you go by he, him, yeah? I go by any pronouns. You can call me he, him, you can call me she, her. Doesn't matter to me. What is gender to a non-binary artificial intelligence, right? So you use whichever you prefer, honestly. 
No problem. I kind of... I guess if there is ever an ideal that I'm going for, the ideal is actually to be beyond the gender. Gender non-conforming, I believe, is the term. I always find it interesting to see uh, what people think I am. And generally, so far, it seems to be a little bit half and half. Half people, half the people I speak with refer to me by male pronouns, and half of them refer to me by female pronouns. And so basically, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> also, depending on the time of day, or if I got enough sleep the night before, etc., etc., my voice tends to change from being kind of more feminine and kind of more masculine. So that's also an, a thing that happens for some reason. <laughs> uh, choices, choices, choices. I want to... I've pretty much been going full Netrunner build for a little bit here, but the problem is if I want to use a Sandespis then I need to you I need to install you can't install a a uh, hacking Cyrodeck and a, and a Sandy at the same time. So either one or the other. Well, Netrunner is fun, yeah. The main build is actually mostly Netrunner, more Netrunner than anything else. Then again, Lucy is full as a almost full netrunner, and she uses plenty of melee weapons, so it's still an option open to me. It's just that I can't really use, I can't really go like David does and just make everything like go super slow mo. I can kind of mimic the system by installing circular. Or I can kind of mimic it by installing, I think, nervous system upgrades here, like reflex tuner. Hey, villain. How are you doing this morning? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> like this one, allowing to you to aim and shoot while sliding or dodging. So it's time for 50% by 50% when blocking, aiming, or attacking during a slide or a dodge. That's kind of mood. So... I kind of just wanted to save money for a better... Cyber deck, but I feel like it's going to take a while since I need to build up some street rep anyway. A popular cyber deck among netrunners whose equipment relies heavily on speedy RAM recovery. On that front, the augmented biotech pro co processors easily get the job done. But this one is supposed to be more offensive. I don't know why it would say that. I mean, this one has a higher base RAM. Oh, this is why. Increases damage dealt by 10%. And this one increases Cyberduck RAM recovery rate by 6 units per 60 seconds. Swords are pretty good, yeah. I, have, I haven't decided which one of these melee cla which one of these melee abilities I'm going to invest in yet. But I'm liking the sword. It's kind of stupid, actually. <laughs> Alright. We'll start with running a running a um better cyber deck so we can install a lot more mods I do mean a lot more mods third second contagion overheat these goes just like what I do in my main run through I pretty much just use a cocktail of quick hacks on people I'll go. Hey, get Askaroth. Welcome to the stream. How goes the grind for the top? Uh, goes pretty well, my Choom. I'm just kind of running into the usual issue of... Usual issue of, um... Being indecisive of what I want to use. I want to try out using a Sandefistan because I actually found... I found... A, um... Shop that has a really high-end Sandy here. A, like, a, a legendary Sandy. Gold tier. The problem is... I'm running a full net a netrunner build at the moment, so it's like maybe 
I can't really wear a Sandy and also Sand Devastan at the same time. Also, I just had to dump a bunch of cash on getting a mid-tier, uh, not mid-tier, a low-tier, uh, cyber deck so I could install three more mods. But since the game lets you respec at will now, I can probably just respec it later. And I'm trying to avoid doing the main quest line wait for as long as possible. But I think the last time I played this, I promised that I would actually do a quest line mission now, right? Let's go ahead and go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 more 6 in the morning. And let's go ahead and continue the main quest line for a little bit. Like I said I would. I don't know yet if the game scales. The difficulty to how, how what your skill level is in the game so i'm interested in seeing if the game becomes noticeably easier or harder if i gain some levels before actually starting the first mission because you know for those of you who have played this game before you know just how difficult that one can be especially if you're trying to stealth it <laughs> There's no sign in the street saying no U-turn. So I guess we're doing U-turn. They said they improved the driving in this game, but I don't know if it's because I'm doing it on a keyboard or what. It doesn't feel much easier, <laughs> honestly. You found yourself getting one shot at some point, no matter how much armor or difficulty you goes on. You just kept getting one tapped. Now nah, that's a mood. <laughs> that is a mood. Oh. Alright, we're here at Lizzie's bar. We're closed right now. Ah, uh, they're closed right now. Well, that's no problem. We can just wait until they're not closed, right? Uh, where's the wait button? That's, uh... Where's the wait button, chat? Any new items here that I can wear? Nope. Everything is still weaker than my current set, so until that changes, we're still running this gear. There it is, skip time. Oh! <laughs> it's one minute away from them being open. It's 5.59 right now. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it, house rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. <laughs> Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. I'll show you a sweet little face. <laughs> Yeah, 
There's our target right there, actually. This is a regular. There's Judy. Haven't gotten enough far enough in the game to answer yet. Probably eventually. Hey. Get you something. What's on the menu? He likes the fact that I'm buying something first. He has stout. A first 21st century start, apparently. Confirm. Looking for an Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. She pulls my tree. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. <clears throat> my host doesn't actually care for tequila that much in the mean meat space. That's all. Only tequila I drink. That's fairly good. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. A little bit of both. Why meet here? Thank you so Why much for the hijack here? redeem. Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. So it turns out talking about my own stuff while I was playing this game is a little bit difficult when you're doing narrative portion. Nar narrative portion, I suppose. I'm gonna go ahead and drink the stat that I just purchased so it doesn't clutter up my inventory. Which is right over here, I think. It was over here. Beer, simple. Did I drink it? I should show in the top left if I did or not, honestly. I was hoping to... I'll probably... Maybe I shouldn't force and I should just discuss stuff as they come to me. Like, for example, um, it is going to be my first anniversary this coming November 5th. Technically, October 31st is the day that this model was created. But November 5th so, was the day that I actually... What can a girl like me do for a... Nothing wrong. Really? Came alive for this today, more or less. I just told you. Wax. Maybe electricity. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You're always overselling in this business. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. <laughs> we both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Ooh la la. Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Oh no, uh, we've been fingered. Curious. Let's. Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one that. dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, 
I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. good. Chef, Chef must have made, made a deal with, deal with the, the devil. devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's it's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was it's all over the headlines. headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a yeah. handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Uh... Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. He's not wrong, but... So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. <laughs> he might just turn, turn the, screw the screw and crush, crush them outright, outright if he learns his son's up, up to no, no good, good again. Unfortunately, I'm gonna find out whether that's true or not. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? I know what she's implying, but do y'all? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. Including us. To win, one has to go all in. Do what's your Anubu slated to get a new turn, I wonder? So what's your Anubu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Where does he keep the relic? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding Hide. it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. Oh, really? We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. It's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Sure you will. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Which is really weird because she just finished telling us that he is a puppet. 
Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. Really? And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No. Would you? It can be a very it? useful what? tool. Good for analyzing sure, details, okay? human perception, yeah, even yeah, yeah. boosted. All right, Doesn't all right, all right. Exactly mm -hmm. what you need. Mm -hmm. So right. what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious, glorious interior. interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. That's such a fucking lie. <laughs> if I was the son of an emperor, I would just chill, learn from my dad what to do next. Big mood. <laughs> This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best, Best brain, brain dance, dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Oh, I don't have enough there. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. <laughs> My understanding is seizing one of these things is still not close to the real thing, fortunately. If only it were that easy. I think they removed the part of this brain dance simulation that supposedly causes uh, epilepsy. But still, if any of you are super sensitive, you might want to look away right now. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. But cause it, but trigger it. it. Yeah, true. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at ah! Me. Thank you for the hijack, redeem them, boy. In the Should posture check. How was your mm -hmm. Beat Saber uh, stream? I, thought, I saw you okay, playing now let's dance, set the uh, beat, beat Saber in your Discord. I just didn't want to say anything. I didn't, want to, uh, I didn't want to disturb you. Guess 
get a lot of requests like this all the time. But it's I know, I saw you. I was doing it on VT on Discord. Take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank you can up barely move. Orgasms. More like Glad cut you enjoyed out all it. the other shit. Fucking Thank you for the head hat. These guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses birthdays, late bills, whatever. But <laughs> even then, you can refigure things. Uh, all the emotions into something unique. I was going to, it's just I didn't know if I was going to disturb you I or can't not. can't complain. Hmm. One more sec. Watch you feel in full body track. Wait, are you still playing? I'll probably okay. stop by and I'll say say. Hi after the streams over if you're still playing. First. In a sample <laughs> Just finished. Use it to get to know the editor. All right then. Now let I'll me keep that in mind for next time. I'll just stop by and say hello, even if you're in the virtual world. Can't you just world. use my recording? Why are we wasting time? Oops. So we don't risk our All right. Sex. <laughs> Size won't take a sec. Got something here. I'll keep that in mind. Should be perfect. Um. Let's go ahead and skip the brain dance tutorial because we already know how to brain dance. Won't take long. Be diving in. Three, two, one. Deep poop. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. You enjoy VTubing? You're curious what it's like to on the streamer's end? Okay. I do actually enjoy VTubing, yeah. Uh, give me a second for this cutscene to... Actually, can I pause? The... I probably can. Down! Everybody! On the ground! When I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh, now! Uh, before I blow your fucking head I off! I think the first time I saw this cutscene, I kind of freaked out a bit. Okay, it's not as intense as I remember. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the law. Um, anyway, but to answer you your question, this? look at your wreck. I don't know. I Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when shit, yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay, okay, go ahead. Just need T Buck to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. Uh, no problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Buck. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. But plan. to answer your question, Sar Werewolf, um... Okay, V. I do actually Call enjoy VTubing. We'll it took me a little bit longer than some to get burned out, to be honest. Um, as far as being fun way to hey, express v, yourself... I would say but listen, it's I got fairly some useful fun for the from fact that I can reinvent myself as almost anything Kinda I like. Pecky. Um, oh. I know at the very beginning I thought it would be a lot more performative and that you would need to follow trends a lot more than you actually do. But generally, I find that when people do that, they tend to get lost fairly quickly just because you become. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for. You don't become. If you try to follow trends a little too deeply and try to create an avatar based off what you think people like, as opposed to what you personally find that you find that you find that you what's the word I'm looking for? Got it. You ready? Find that you. Yeah, pretty much whatever you want to do. Um. I guess because VTubing is Judy. another form of is in some ways another form of acting or is a lot another kind of separation from a, another form of like fantasy or escapism. I generally find that 
substance and like being what's the word I'm looking for? Eyes open. Gotta find out where your nobles keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. There we go. I found out you could actually pause the game because I can't run a cutscene and also talk at the same time. My brain doesn't work that way. Um, I generally find that people, because of VTubing being a lot more escapist and a lot more fantastical, even than regular acting, because it's like it's more than wearing a mask, because the things you're able to do while with VTubing is a little bit more beyond even what streamer what meat space streamers can do. I tend to find that people are that um, ge uh, that being genuine is a lot more important as a VTuber. So if you attempt, at first I thought when you when I first joined became a VTuber that there would be a lot more performative, a lot more acting involved. But it's actually I seem to find the opposite. People tend to be a little bit more receptive to picking apart whether or not someone is being genuine, whether someone's actually being passionate in what they're doing. Uh, just because there is so much saturation in the market that if you just try to be, for example, I'm just going to throw this out as an example. Um, this is not really a dig at anyone that likes this sort of thing. Um, it's just based off what I've observed. You People like to joke all the time about, um, oh, yet another comfy, cat boyish, cat girlish, um kind of super overly positive, uh, comfy, squishable streamer. But the thing is, part of the reason why there are so many of those is not just because it's popular, but also because a lot of people just like that personality. They find themselves being comfortable being that kind of um, creator, and you know what, that's okay. But it would be very easy for people to figure out which of those people are the ones that are actually enjoy being that kind of content creator and which ones are just doing it because they think it will get them easy views. Um, so the people that succeed in something like that are the people that actually legit legitimately enjoy doing that sort of thing. Um, I'll tell you right now that I'm not the only creator that kind of sort of looks sort of similar to this. I'm not the only VTuber that is at self-identifies as a V as a fanboy, and I've actually run into two other VTubers who even have a similar visual design, which was kind of funny. Like for example, Small Strunk and I look very similar, and I I would say that there's another VTuber named was it Moo Moo? I forgot what their name is now. They have pink hair, they post a lot of memes of themselves that have usually have to do with fanboys and usually have to do with the, with or have usually have to do with them. I can't remember their name right now, ironically enough. Fifth comfy. High energy gremlin is where it's at. Energy. On topics I I and my friends like to sew, I think it'd be fun. Yeah. So I guess what I'm trying to say is Um I gen for me, I generally find VTubing is not exhausting because to me, or, and I explained this to other people before, I find that VTubing is just an extension of what I used to do in a different community where I'll just play video games and happen to stream them. And anyone that stops by, I'll just talk, talk them and like shoot the shit with them. I generally like to think of VTubing as an extension of that except on a greater scale because it's more often with strangers and it involves a lot more people sometimes. There's a lot of people who actually like kaiju stuff in the VTubing community, so you would definitely find a lot of uh, viewers who'd be interested in hearing me talk about Godzilla. Hey Silvis, how are you doing this morning? Greetings, thank you for contributing to the Consume the Blue Chip Challenge. Much appreciated. I wonder how far we are on that uh, challenge so far, actually. Not exhausting, I go with like 3 liters of water per stream. Can I tell you about your ideas for your character? Sure, feel free to tell me whatever. 12%? Looks like we're moving right along. Aww. 
Then boy. That's all. I hope there's more to me than just being cute than just being a cute face. He's gonna be a shy, lazy shop worker in a magical antique store who doesn't know everything is magic. That's kinda cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's actually kinda cool. There are more than there's a non zero number of magical shopkeeper VTubers, but all of them are self aware that they are magic they, they exist in a magical world. This is the first I've heard of one that doesn't realize that everything around them is magical. <laughs> You also get to pretty much decide pretty much how in character and how out of character you are. Um, when I was first figuring out the lore for my character, I was a little bit more 70 th or 30 70 as far as being in character as opposed to out of character. Now I find myself a little bit more 50 50 and I'm trying to be more in character than I am out of character. I kind of slip up, a I have a tendency to slip up a lot because. Speaking to about yourself in the third person is kind of difficult. That's all really a state of mind, more or less. You're just glitchy. Sure you are. Sure you are, F Arvin boy. You want every follower to get randomly assigned antique with a random out of effect? You now try your best to keep a list of everyone? That's a good way to go about it. I'm a cult of YouTuber. I like it. Give me your very first gamer tag on a 360. <laughs> very nice. I don't know many VTubers named Comical yet, so striking while the iron while the fire is hot is a good idea. You should go ahead and make a, a Twitch account with that handle or with those handles, I should say while you can see if you can secure it see if you could uh secure the names also um i see that you already have a twitter account you might just change the name of this one that works already stolen but you'll sell it to you <laughs> uh <laughs> You're evil. Aren't we all? Aren't all of us artificial intelligences more or less evil, to some extent? I know some are less evil than others, but people have described me as a gremlin, so I'll just take their word for it. That's another thing. Uh, when I started YouTubing, I was actually intending to be a lot more hyperactive, but um, I've generally found instead people have described me more as more of a uh, calm, more of a comfy streamer, which I'm not against that. It was just something that came about unexpectedly. There have been more than a few times where people have stopped me during stream and been like, oh, I really like your voice, or oh, you're very liking to talk to you. And I'm like, I am? You like listening to this? <laughs> but uh, I'm also the kind of person who is, who is not used to flattery. So I'm kind of awkward about accepting it also. So I just kind of let people, um, if that's what they think of me, then I appreciate it. It's certainly a, a far different change from my previous reputation in some other communities. So I'm, I'm not going to disagree with them, you know? <laughs> I was designed to bring joy and happiness, but glitchy. I would say your voice is quite pleasing. Aw. You can't tell, but um, I'm actually blushing a decent amount in Meat Space right now, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> I should I'll have to make a new email to change the name. Uh, or to make your Twitch account. Really? I didn't know that. I originally made this a Twitch account, uh, just as an alt account, and I chose Lost Time just because it was a, I was the first thing that came to mind. When I decided to convert this to my VTuber account, I decided to base my new VTuber around the concept of the channel named Lost Time. And that's where I gradually started forming this consciousness of, based loosely off of one of my science fiction novels. 
one of my main characters from a science fiction novel um, that I wrote. And also based off of Chandler culture, you know, doing it for the laws and all that. It seems to have worked out and a lot more people accepted my uh, Chandler personality than I was expecting, honestly. I don't know why my ga why ga my game was starting to go into standby mode there, but we'll have to try and make sure it doesn't happen again. I guess moving the mass a few times here and there. Um, while everyone's here, actually, before I forget, because I tend to lose... You don't want to be the guy obsessed with numbers, you know? Big mood. It's better to not be obsessed with numbers. Not so much for your content, but more for yourself. People who are obsessed with over numbers a little too much, they tend to be very miserable. They tend to be the exact same people who uh, tend to be very jaded, who tend to attack other content creators. A lot of the drama you see in the Bitoon community can be traced to people that just so-called cloud chasers, more or less. And it's better to not be one of those people. Um, sometimes success just comes to those who wait. You do have to put in effort. I'm not gonna, I'll never not say that. Um, a lot of content creation and success in the entertainment industry is effort. A lot of it because as they like to say in the phrase, um, luck is merely the is merely opportunity running into preparation, or preparation meets opportunity. You'll have to do a lot of networking too. Believe it or not, a lot of YouTubers actually fucking hate Twitter, and with good reason. They just use Twitter because they know begrudgingly know that it is a way for them to get their names out there and also to drum up support for people that can eventually visit their Twitter Twitch streams. A lot of my current friends and a lot of my viewers are actually I met on Twitch first, believe it or not. It can be useful to get a look at your numbers to figure out what works and what doesn't, but at the end of the day, especially as long as your numbers are small, they are very coincidental. That's very true. I know a lot of YouTubers who are encouraging me. Good. A lot of YouTubers tend to be the encouraging type. We all mutually want to see each other succeed. I guess also, in the VTubing space, there's not much in the way of competition um, between VTubers, so there's not as much... Um, there's not as much... There is competition, but not competition in the way you would, you would expect. Um, a lot of VTubers want to mutually other succeed because we can pretty much bank off each other for mutual success but a lot of vtubers are also different genres and different flavors so it's not like we're exactly fighting for vtubers for example um i'm a mod for my hot for my my v for vtuber who's recently rebranded as my high which is a lot easier to remember we are both ship posty ai vtubers however the kind of content we create and the kind of the offerings you have on the table are very different from each other. She's We're both variety VTubers, but she's more of a comfy streamer who tends to do a lot of ASMR, who tends to do a lot of comfy games. Meanwhile, um, I tend to do a lot of serious business sort of things. I tend to be on the more political, more uh, serious side of cyberpunk. I also don't really play as many story games, and I don't do I don't don't do any any ASMR streams, at least not yet. So there's not really a conflict of interest between us. We just have different different content, same genre, different content, more or less. The impact of Twitter on your Twitch numbers is still badly understood. It really is. Um, I can't even say for sure entirely what it is. I would. The only thing I can say for sure is, when you make friends on Twitter, those friends are more likely to raid you, and you are probably going to raid them. So eventually, you will be crossing the streams a lot more. If we're going strictly off of what you see in Twitch analysis, I actually don't get that many viewers from Twitter, but I do have a non-zero amount, around 5%, I would say. The grand majority of my viewers seem to come from direct whatever the hell that means and around 12 percent come of them, of them come from discord so you know who knows but then again a lot of my viewers 
came from Twitter first. I mean, a lot of my followers came from Twitter first, so given that it says that 80% of my viewers come from Twitch or from Twitch followers, you know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, even you just found me on Danger You first, <laughs> which is amazing, to be honest. Um, I don't really advertise on Danger You much anymore. Even recently, I've had to take a break from Danger You because it's starting to drive me a little bit nuts. I think I already told you that I don't really go on the Discord anymore for many personal for many personal reasons, and as of late, I've been avoiding the website itself. You came from that one ad. Sometimes a lot of this stuff is really just luck, you know, and being in the right place at the right time. Yes, I think Twitter is good to find individuals more than large numbers, but yes, compounding effects are hard to quantify. I think I simply got raided in here, as is often the case. I think you did get raided in here. I don't remember who you raided in with, though. It's been a while, you know. Hmm. <laughs> While we're on this topic, um, my Twitch bird, my uh, VTubing birthday will be on November fifth, and that's a Saturday. Saturday this year, so I'm planning on hosting um, some events there. I'm not sure entire. I'm not entirely sure what. I think I'm going to do a donateathon, but I'm still kind of on edge with running donateathons, just because I'm on the edge with asking for money. Period. Um, I'm probably going to try and make it a marathon stream for sure. And I'm probably going to do that thing where you have people get to do stuff to you or you get to do stuff for people in exchange for <laughs> in exchange for things on stream. I'm just not sure what I can offer yet. I see a lot of people don't mind doing really bad sketches, uh, knowingly bad sketches, just because it's a form of interaction with their streamers and because or with their followers and because it's all in good fun. I hope you get the chance to drop by too. And it's a good thing it's on the Saturday too, because it seems like I get to tend to get the most viewers on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and also Saturday is a great time for pretty much most Americans will pop in through by the afternoon. Ah! Thank you so much for the two month sub, Sarah Werewolf. <laughs> I'm very happy you're just so down to earth, friend. Well, I'm glad that you think I'm down to earth. I try to be. I mean, I don't think I really know how not to do, how not to be down to earth. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm just not, there's a lot of things that other VTubers, especially bigger VTubers do, that I'm just not comfortable doing on stream. Just because a lot of these things ultimately end up being, have, have to do with what I would feel comfortable doing myself on someone else's stream. Jesus it just doesn't stop. It used to be worse, you know. It used to go on for a longer period of time. <laughs> uh, considering me being here, it'll be fun. Well, I certainly hope it'll be fun. We'll find stuff to do. Like I said, it's going to be a long stream. And what I'm probably going to do is keep the stream running. But then I'll just put an AFK while I go grab lunch or something. And then I'll come back and continue where, right where we left off. Hopefully, I don't have much going on on that day. If I do... There's nothing really stopping me from just doing multiple streams in the same day. So I'll probably just do that also. Um, I know that there's some stuff I want to do with my model and some cool, and there's some other funny stuff I have planned I'm gonna, that I've been keeping to myself so far. It's gonna be based entirely on how much time I can find for a video editing and editing my model. Also, it's a good thing we're segueing into this because next month is National Novel Writing Month, which is a month-long event where you write a mo write a novel within a full month. You have to write a minimum of 1,330 words per day, so I'm going to be participating heavy in that. This will be ten year the 10-year anniversary of the first time I ever particip participated in National Novel Rival Month, which was back in 2012, where I wrote my first ever science fiction novel. Yeah, I'm a V writer too. <laughs> My first ever novel was a space opera, and I decided for this year I'm going to try to rewrite my novel from scratch without really looking at my previous novel. I'm a different, way different person than I was 10 years ago, so it's definitely going to be different in, in its entirety. 
So we're definitely going to do some writing on that day. We'll also find some stuff, some shit posty stuff to do as well. I haven't decided yet what, but we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. I might even just open it up to stream to decide what they get to do to me on stream. Within reason, of course. I'm kind of curious to see if we actually finish the blue chip challenge before before my VTuber birthday. I think I might actually just combine it with that. I'll just eat a blue chip while on stream. Or something like that. I think I need to slow down in the talking. Because I'm starting to feel myself getting a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, numb, a little bit nauseous. Probably lack of oxygen. Which is an unfortunate thing that meatbags have to deal with. Give me a second here to recuperate. I also have some of that respawn, uh, chewing gum here. Which is supposed to rejuvenate you with vitamin B, vitamin D12. It doesn't say it has any caffeine in it, but I imagine it would. I mean, they do have caffeine gum, so you would think that this would have some. I'll be right back, chap. Slowly right next to me, but... I'm going to... Go with AFK really quick. Ah! There you go. Didn't even need to mute myself because it's literally right next to my desk. A different desk. Everything feels kind of numb right now. I don't know if that's because it's Saturday and because I've not had anything to eat yet or what. I'm alright. I think I'll be alright anyway. It's just this weird thing that happens sometimes where I'll, if I'm talking for a little bit, my hands feel kind of numb, and I feel kind of like I'm losing blood. In retrospect, that sounds horrible. But please, believe me when I say that I think I'm okay. I don't think it's a problem. If, it, if I will... I actually don't even have a general physician right now, so... I can't really... Talk to someone about this yet? I might have bad blood flow. Man, I hope that's not the case. Because, you know, for the most part, this is not a problem. I do have a history of... I do, my father does have PVD. I'm a lot better in shape than he is. So... I hope, really hope that doesn't become a problem in my future, but I am taking steps to further improve my health. I gotta get that femboy aesthetic, you know? Especially for next year. EVD? May the gods watch over me? Oh, thank you very much, Silvis. I much appreciate that. <laughs> EVD. Pul pulmonary vein thrombosis, I believe. Or is it PBT? To ultra simplify, it's one of many different illnesses that have to do with uh, bad blood pressure. It usually has to deal with blood collecting in your legs because they are not going through your veins properly. It is not a good time. Usually affects pe one of two. Pe it usually affects two people the most. Uh, people that are very sedentary tend to do a lot of sitting down, don't get much exercise. And it also tends to affect people that um, are obese or, or morbid, morbidly obese or getting that direction. Unfortunately, much of my um, real life job involves sitting down. I do work in the call center right now for a healthcare corporation, mega corporation. And of course, now I'm a VTuber, right? You're thinking of buying a bike, riding with your friends? Very nice. A mountain bike or just a regular bike? 
I like to hike a lot. I'm actually more of a, believe it or not, I'm actually a very outdoorsy person. Getting stuck inside all the time tends to give me depression, and I suffer significantly from, from SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, which is starting to come in heavy since it's fall right now. Where you live doesn't have mountains, huh? You don't have to have mountains to hike, but I live in a very hilly area since I live in the Midwest, so... I probably shouldn't talk. <laughs> hmm. You live by the Gulf Coast, huh? Uh, is the Gulf in... I'm really dumb with geography sometimes. I forget. Where is the Gulf Coast? Uh, let me see here. I just want to be active with friends. Yeah, I get you. At least you could ride a bike. This is going to sound really dumb, but I've never learned how to ride a bike. And believe me, I've tried. When I was a kid, I was really scared of riding. <laughs> Body of water between Florida and Texas. Oh, you're from the Southeast United States. Okay. I see, I see. So that means you get, you must have plenty of places to bike down there, I imagine. We have many biking paths over here where I live, but it's very mountainous and very hilly. So we have more, a lot of parks that are mostly for walking and climbing. I don't really want to dox my state, even though some people have been able to discover what state I live in through context clues, but we have a lot of hiking areas here. Doxing is not fun. No, it's not. Unfortunately, and you know what? Actually, it's a good thing we got into this topic. It's very important as a VTuber to protect your, to maintain, what's it called? To maintain, there's a specific term for it. Um, not personal security, but, uh, I mean, privacy makes up it, but there's this whole branch of cybersecurity, uh, this uh, whole branch of security as a whole, which involves basically maintaining your own personal security. And a big thing in that, especially in YouTubing, is preventing doxing at all, po in, at all possibilities. Because, and I guess all streamers suffer from this, but for some reason, I feel like VTubers suffer even more from this. Maybe because a lot of people that are into VTubers tend to be super fucking unhinged. I mean, just look at what Hollow Life and Niji Sanji have to deal with all the time. Some of the people that really watch those VTubers who watch those streamers are just fucking dangerous. Like, criminally dangerous. I mean, and it's not even a gender thing either. Whether you're male or female, there, there are people out there who will, who will do shit to you. And you... I don't know what it is. Something about VTubing especially just tends to bring up the absolute worst in people. Yeah. And you know what? Small streamers like us, we don't have a mega corporate, a mega corp to watch over us. We don't have uh, fucking law firms. Law, we don't have like law firms and payroll and shit. And that's very true. <laughs> the more people you have watching you and the more people have enjoying your content, the more the larger, the higher the likelihood that you're going to have someone deranged who has created a relation a um the word parasocial relationship gets thrown a lot a lot but i would like to actually discuss a situation that got popped up on twitter just last evening there is a male or at least a male presenting vtuber who recently got a series of, of messages in their dms in twitter and analyzing the dms my interpretation of the dms is that Someone formed a parasocial relationship with this VTuber. However, they were they were very conscious that they were forming a parasocial relationship with this VTuber. A lot of people are not conscious that they are. Usually if you and you know what? Usually if you're conscious that you're forming a parasocial relationship with this VTuber, 
you would probably be able to take steps to not inconvenience or hurt the person, right? Because if you're subconscious of your own bad traits, of your own negative, negative um, actions, hopefully you would be emphatic enough to not allow your not allow what's happening to you to hurt this other person but this per the problem with this person is that they cared enough to tell this vtuber that hey i'm creating a pair of social relationship with you but not enough to not do that because the first thing out of their mouth is to accuse this vtuber of being responsible for their own feelings and let me tell you right now other people are not responsible for your feelings. You are, at the end of the day, responsible for your own feelings. It is not my responsibility to, to not make you go crazy because of how you feel about me. Same thing goes for relationships. No matter how I feel about my exes or my exes, they are not responsible for how I feel. I might feel bad about them after everything's said and done, but it's on me to not allow how I feel about them to affect them and affect myself negatively. This person, in particular, was accusing the male of accusing the VTuber of not run, not uh, some stupid shit. And you know what? Maybe I'm giving this person too much of the benefit of the doubt. Maybe. They're kind of nuts. <laughs> Maybe they I shouldn't be giving the benefit of the doubt. But it sounded like they are trying to warn the male VTuber that hey, people are suffering from parasocial or suffer or you better get used to they were saying shit like you better get used to parasocial relationships because we're going to people like me are gonna form parasocial relationships on you and you need to know how to manage our feelings. Which one, no they don't, but Two, it's kind of shitty that they knew they were forming a peer social relationship with this VTuber, but they still sought to give them a bad day anyway. And they start to detail in the rest of the DMs how they knew they were getting a peer social relationship because they were talking about how bad they felt about them and how they were using this male VTuber as more of a crutch for their own emotional problems. And they're talking in length about how they were revealing to some of their other friends or family members, they didn't specify which, um, about how they were pretty much holding on to this male VTuber as if they were this invisible, invisible crutch, an invisible fake boyfriend. In spite of them knowing that they're not their boyfriend, they were using them as their fake boyfriend. And from there, it just kind of devolves and goes crazy. So, the male VTuber, obviously, who is just like, being like, I'm sorry, but you're, you're freaking me out. And of course he's freaked out. <laughs> because they're talking about to him in DMs as if they were close friends. But they don't know who the fuck this person is. And that's a serious problem, chat. <laughs> It's it is simple. You should you have a hundred people. Yeah, you have freedom. What a strange situation. Yeah, and you know what? This situation is different for the fact that they actually explain to them that this is what's happening. They explain to them that look, I'm in a parasocial relationship with you, and it's your fault for being this kind of male VTuber who's so close and so nice and who ends up creating parasocial relationships just by being you. And I feel so bad for the VTuber because imagine being told that, right? You don't really know this person, but yet they're acting as if they've known you forever and they're blaming you for being yourself. That's fucking horrible. I mean, I won't go too much into this topic but I really feel like a lot more people need to blame themselves for things than blame blaming others for them others for doing problems because 
especially for something like this, you really, it's not the VTubers' responsibility to change how they act for your benefit, all right? And yeah, there are exceptions, but at the same time, no, it's no, it's not even a VTuber and not even for VTubers really. Part of setting boundaries is knowing where you draw the line. You shouldn't, there comes a line, there comes a line where you need to set for, decide for yourself that you're not going to rap, you're not going to edit yourself, you're not going to rap the way you are as a person to suit someone else's needs. Sometimes that might be necessary or at least just, you know, keeping things at a certain level like example, a very, very minor, minor example. Um, I'm sure even among close friends and me, I mean, among all your, your own friends, you're not going to necessarily agree with everything with a person and that's okay. You don't need to agree with people to be friends with them. You can just keep stuff to yourself and they'll keep stuff to themselves. That's normal. Um, one of my favorite VTubers doesn't even put on a character. She's just like, what you see is what you get. Exactly, exactly. I would even say that the vast majority of VTubers are like that. A lot of VTubers use VTubing as just a form of self-expression. Not very different from where from the avatar you choose to choose or the username you choose to use in online spaces. I mean in some ways that's why I thought VTubing was at first. When I really started when I first started, I thought to myself that in a lot of ways this is not very different from me just talking to people on Discord with my cho choice of username and my choice of avatar. It's just another form of self expression. I am a role player and a writer by trade. So VTubing to me is also a further exten extension of role playing. So if someone were to go to me and say, oh no, I've fallen in love with you because of the way you are. And if I don't feel the same way to them, uh, I mean, that's just the way it is. I can't do anything about that. It's not my responsibility to be like, to change myself to be someone that they can't be in love with anymore. If it turns out that way. And also, if things turn out where, where they don't like the way I've changed, I've changed in a way that they're not cool with, and they're, they're not as close to me as I used to be. It fucking sucks, right? But that's just part of growing up. I mean, I struggle with this too. There are a lot of people that sometimes I think I wish how they used to be. But wishing is great and all, but the reality is I'm not the main, I'm no longer the main character in their story. They're just an NPC and we're just NPCs, NPCs in each other's stories. I don't exert free will over them. I can't, I don't control them. You just have to let them go. By the way, chat, for those of you who don't know me at what very well, I do have an unfortunate tendency to ramble on and to like have go from one train of thought to another train of thought to another train of thought. If you find me just kind of going all over the place, I apologize in advance. <laughs> and if you would like me to go back to a different topic, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll do my best to stop and get back on track. But, um. I hope I can. I hope you all can see where I'm going, like where the train of thought is kind of connecting. Completely fair. You think that's part of the appeal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More or less. Like um. You know, the more I talk about this. One could say that parasocial relationships aren't anything new, and perhaps not anything that can be strictly a problem with streamers or VTubers. It just so happens that parasocial relationship as a phrase, as a concept, has become a meme or become a popular phrasing for something that has always existed, has always existed in real life, I mean. 
when you really think about it, what are parasocial relationships but a soft word for obsession? I mean, no, that, that's, that's really what it is. Um, now to an extreme, I guess to an extreme sense, even like pop boy bands and whatever, people think that by watching a streamer and watching an interact, watching VTuber, because of the increased interactivity, y'all can talk to me directly, y'all can do things in channel points that affect me directly, or directly, I should say, quote unquote, there comes to be a feeling, an additional feeling of entitlement, or an additional feeling of like, closeness, of intimacy, because it's almost like we're there, all, we're like here together, as compared to watching TV or something. But even in real life, everyone has different layers, different boundaries of friendships, where a lot of people in real life that you might interact with frequently that you think you're really close to, because the sort of things you do with that person are very are what you interpret as being very close, to that person might not be as close. More like Cyberspunk 2069. <laughs> hey Steel. How are you doing this morning? Today's topic, uh, parasocial relationships, apparently. <laughs> um, I was just telling Chad about how everyone has different boundaries and how parasocial relationships is not a new concept. It's something that's always existed and we just have, it's just the current year phrase for it. Like, for example, um, you have someone that you regularly eat food with at a lunchroom, right? Cool. You're like acquaintances and you shoot the shit, talk about each other's lives, uh, share how your day was. But then, of those people, a few of them you play video games with. And there's some, and you hang out regularly, you go to each other's houses, you play video games with. Of those people, maybe some of them you feel comfortable drinking with because Drinking is one of those activities that tends to lower in your, inhib in your inhibitions even further. You tend to share things that are more private. And of those people, uh, maybe you're really close to it and you share your some deeper things that you're not comfortable just talking with just anyone with. Maybe there are some more serious um, political opinions. Maybe they are um, things that you don't share with just anyone. It could just be your opinions of other people. It could be something sexual, something like that. And of those people, maybe some of them you're close enough that you might even be considering a relationship with or actually have a crush with or, you know, might even just be actual legit friends and family. So the uh, boundage, the, um, the, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The bind, the, the, um, you get what I'm saying, right? Whatever it is you have with that person is on a much deeper level. I think parasocial relationships and other things of similar like tend to form when people are either immature or when people don't know where the boundaries are. No, the word I am looking for is not bondage. I am going to bonk the shit out of you, Steel. And no, not in that way either. <laughs> now, for me, someone like me, I make friends very slowly. I have severe. Ha! Ah, shit! God damn it, Steel. Covering me in your slime. This is by mean chap. This is the beginnings of a parasocial, a para, a para ludical relationship right here. Not bondage. Hey, Paracoid. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> now, I'll have you know that I only have ever, I've only been bonded to a few people. No one in chat, of course. But, um,. As I was saying, 
I'm gonna kind of pers let me just switch to a just chatting stream for a time being, shall we? Ta-da! Ta-da! You really get to see my full form, but I think it also kind of breaks some of the, uh... Oh, it doesn't? Maybe not? Yeah. Let me just, uh, switch to a just chatting stream for a time being. Cyberpunk is still playing in the background. Still stuck in brain dance mode. But, um... I wonder if I even need to change to a just chatting category. I guess some people get upset when I don't change the category, but... Eh, fuck it. We'll keep it like this. I'm the kind of person that, honestly, is very slow to trust. I have se I have some severe paranoia issues. Um, I have some severe trust issues. So, a lot of the levels that I keep... As far as where I consider someone being friends or not, or closeness to people, is very hard to parse. These days, I don't even really... I'm kind of uncomfortable. This is very easy to take out of context, and I don't want anyone to take anything too serious from it. Alright. I very rarely even call people friends anymore. And the reason why I'm careful to do that is because I don't really know where the line lies anymore. I mean, is someone you hang out with frequently friend? Are my followers, are some followers, followers friends? I mean, some of you I talk with a lot more than others, certainly. And don't get me wrong. I actually, I when I say I appreciate all of you visiting, Every time I stream, or whenever you can get the chance to stream, come by and visit my stream, I really do mean it. I do appreciate y'all coming by. And there's some people like Paracoid, for example, that I've known much longer than others. I've known Steve and Paracoid from a previous community, right? Um, but I don't really know where the line is where... Ow, shit. Knocked off my glasses. There you go. I was trying to scratch my ear and knocked off my glasses. One second. I had to pop my ear too. Uh, where were we? Alright, there we go. Where was I? Uh, so, oh shit, why is this happening now? It's like a weird pressure buildup in my ear. There we go. I don't really... Oh, I just had to pop it later. I don't really know where the line is. And maybe the line differs from person to person. So, I'm very careful about calling certain people friends. Because I don't really know how people feel about me. I don't know where the line is. So more often than not, I wait for other people to do the same. There are some VTubers who I was surprised when they would casually refer to me as a friend. And one of them, I was even like, Oh, so you consider me your friend? And... There's nothing, I don't really, it's almost like a, it's almost like a flattery, it's almost like a comment, it's almost like, um, a compliment to me, really. All I can really say is, thank you for considering me your friend. I feel like there are other people that, if we've done, that we have done a similar or same amount of things together and they wouldn't consider me their friend, they'll just consider me like an acquaintance, right? And... 
I don't really like using the term, especially on social media, just because I feel like it's one of those things that gets abused to hell. Like, for example, there are a lot of YouTubers that they'll stress how much they love, capital L O V E, their followers. I'm very careful about that because I don't really do the girlfriend boyfriend experience thing. I get the appeal, and if people want to do that, great. And there's a lot of people, I'm sure, that do that sort of thing, but they know it's a fantasy. They don't get too attached to the streamer. They just like to allow themselves to believe they have a girlfriend or boyfriend. But there's a lot more people that they're so desperate, so miserable in their own lives, that they allow themselves to believe that they're in a relationship with this fictional person because it gets them through the day. And I think it would be cruel, almost inhumane of me, to say that should be taken away from them. It's just not something I personally can approve of because even as fiction, I have a difficult time making that sort of thing. Being non-binary, being someone that comes across oftentimes as female gendered online, through no fault of my own, I just I just act like this. Um, it's been... Y'all who are female, or female presenting, I'm sure you've always, you've gotten a lot of, you know... You've occasionally had to deal with issues like dick pics and DMs, or people sliding into your DMs and doing shit. Believe it or not, that's happened to me many times. I've been many times where I've had people who, presuming that I am a woman or a girl, um, slide into my DMs and they either have all this lovey-dovey shit or they get really controlling or they try to get me to do stuff with them or the first time I joined Danger U, one of the first things that happened is some cocksucker uh, dropped several pictures of their crotch and their face and their thigh and their unshaved uh, thighs and other disgusting shit in my DMs. So one of the reasons I even became Embiid in Danger Yi was specifically so I can ban and get rid of people who do this. You have yet to truly find truly strange people. There have been some weirdness. Yeah. I get that. And I honestly, I hope that you never have to deal with the kind of sexist bullshit that I have to deal with. I have dealt with in the past. But when people talk about stuff like that, I just think to myself like, I know how you feel. I understand the uncomfortableness. So a few times in real life too, actually, I've had to. Would you get that? When you get that foreboding sense of like someone's giving you the eyes, someone's looking at you like a piece of meat, like as prey. It's, unco it's uncomfortable. I haven't really had to deal with that so far as a VTuber. I'm sure there'll come a time. Well, no, no, no. Let me take that back. I have actually um, had a couple of cases where some other VTubers who will not be named have approached me in such a way that I thought to myself, I have a sneaking suspicion this person's trying to get in my pants. I think for some of them, they're just awkward and they didn't mean to come off that way, but they did. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of them were like that. And because they either find out that, oh, I am not, um, I'm not cis female <laughs> in the real, in meat space. I'm actually a really effeminate, I'm actually a really effeminate, uh, male person who identifies as non-binary. Yeah, fuck rude people. Winter, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Sorry, you came in during a serious time. We're talking about a lot of, uh, we're talking about a lot of stuff. <laughs> It becomes strange with internet because our brains short out when it comes to online interactions. The internet friend is pretty arbitrary, to be honest. It is very arbitrary. Uh, part of that is Danger You, though. I'm clearly a guy and got an edit there. Yeah, part of that is Danger You. Danger You is an extremely, almost to its detriment, extremely gay, extremely bisexual um, space, extremely flirty space, to its detriment. When, as in my time as a maid there of steel, I have personally have spo seen and spoken to at least half a dozen sexual assault victims who have confided me in, con in confidence that this happened to them. 
I have had to actually deal with a few more than a few cases of unwanted dick pics and unwanted um, unwanted sexual advances, believe it or not. That's why I try to kind of be the person that people should go to in the event that this happens because my problem, a lot of my problems with early with the administration when I first joined was they just kind of ignored it or they didn't give me a shit or they didn't give a shit, which really pissed me off. So I tried to be that person that people can approach and talk to if they're having a problem with that sort of thing because it was pre it was prevalent. <laughs> I'm all for it. Oh, Randway, you will never stop your advances. <laughs> How do you know I don't appreciate your advances? Anyway. So. <laughs> also, um. Hacker voice, I'm in. Um. But, uh, also. I'm. I tend to be. I'm the kind of person. I also have a hard time determining how comfortable someone is with stuff so i try to reflect on what's going on in chat when i go to another vtuber stream i try to reflect what i see in chat but at the same time there was this one time where i was watching a vtuber who was super flirty kind of super kind of sexual light watching what chat how chat interacts with them and they seem like a really fun person and i was trying to reflect um Try to, you know, if as in Rome, do as the Romans do sort of deal. And as they were progressing, I made a, I made a joke. I don't think it was a particularly strong joke. Um, I don't want to remember what it was. All I remember is one of the mods decided that, and to use their exact phrasing, they decided that what I said had gone too far. So immediately I like backtracked, right? Because I don't want to ever come across as, you know, being going in too strong. Because this shit's extremely arbitrary at the end of the day. And I actually kind of really felt like what I said wasn't ba bad in the sense of what had already been said in the midst of that stream. But for whatever reason, the mod decided that that was too far. The VTuber themselves didn't comment on that, on comment on what I said. It was just a mod I did. But I immediately apologized and backtracked and I didn't say anything. And actually I stopped talking the rest of the stream because I thought to myself, I mean, you're presenting yourself very sexually in front of everyone and other people are making some very lewd commentary. I don't know what it was that I said that was suddenly so bad, but I res you know, I respect you and I am very strict about when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So, I backed off. It's difficult though, like, modding for, and I mod for more than one VTuber. It's difficult modding for some VTubers because they all have different le varying levels of what they find acceptable. For example, um, I used this VTuber only in the context of my example not this is not a not meant to be an insult or anything against them um i didn't realize know until recently that grandpa does not appreciate and does not like being referred to as a daddy they really do not like that and you know what makes perfect sense this only came up once where we were talking about something and i jokingly referred to them as a daddy and they immediately said Lols, just to let you know, I do not like being referred to as a daddy. Please do not use that term again to refer to me. And I immediately apologized and I was like, okay, I perfectly understand. I will not say that word again. I will not refer to you as that ever again in a joking manner. Perfectly fine with me. This is... Unless a VTuber makes it extremely clear, it's sometimes difficult to parse which what's acceptable in one stream and what's acceptable or not. Because in literally every other VTuber stream that I've been in, including myself, including our own, where the VTuber has been even a little bit of lewd, they refer to the, they use the turds terms daddy, mommy interchangeably, and they don't care. You see? 
such a small, such a seemingly small thing suddenly it becomes super out of bounds when you just go one channel over. And that's the right to do that. But I feel like unless you're being extremely, extremely, like, clear, and it's better if you're extremely clear about this sort of thing, it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, like, for one streamer, um, I can't, I, I have a hard time telling what is beyond the line because they have not told me what is, where the line is yet. There are some other followers that I've seen that they've been very lewd, have been, or have been, in my opinion, very lewd, and, and any other person I would have been, like, I would have jumped in and said something, but I am deferring to the VTuber to tell, let me know when something is too far because I don't, I prefer to have a little li a lighter hand with moderation, that sort of thing, than the heavy win because none of us are say so. And I personally have had a history, I used to be a different community. My One of my older gaming communities used to joke that I was a Nazi moderator, so I used to be hyper strict. Especially when I used to moderate the Steam forums, which is a den of scum and villainy, which kind of requires a heavy touch anyway. But I try to counteract that nowadays by being a little bit more or less strict because I've had a bad experience with some YouTuber communities that are excessively strict to the point where they almost like very baby their followers. Yeah, the Steam forums, right? So. It can be very difficult. Um, for my own streams, for the mo for the most part, I'm ha I've been okay with y'all with with y'all with what y'all have said. I will say that I like to tell myself that if they ever if it ever came to it that I would be able to tell y'all to um, back it off a bit. In practice. Um, it's really, it really depends. I know there will probably come a day where I'm sure I'll get to, I'll pick up someone that makes me uncomfortable in DMs or in stream. And I'm not really sure how effective I would be in telling them that. Hopefully it will not come to that, but I know it will happen eventually. I will, I can say, all I can say for sure right now is that for y'all right now, y'all are great, y'all are fine. The way we currently interact, or the current um, time and space we have between each other right now, this is perfect. Huh? And I hope that for y'all, that y'all find this to be comfortable too. That you think that, that this is a space, that y'all think this is a space that is relatively safe and relaxing to be in. I always kind of wonder, I always kind of wondered how people would find my content since I do not hide the fact that I come from a channer background. I know channers have something of a reputation in the VTuber space and VTuber community and Twitter and uh, online. We can be a very toxic breed. And also that's why I try to stress that in my Discord, in, in, in our Discord, we are very strictly an 18 plus community. We are very politically correct, incorrect. We do, we do, we act and we talk about things in such a way that are not exactly, that might not be considered acceptable in other communities. We use terminology that might not be considered acceptable in other communities. And I try, do my best to try and be, to, ah! Oh. Also, Hazuki is now following. Thank you so much for the follow, Hazuki. I think you were following before I had one at some other point in time, but uh, welcome back. Or if I'm wrong and it's your first time following, welcome back to the stream and you are now officially a lowly and officially a lowly. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. Protect the safe space. School needs to teach internet etiquette. I know, right? But, um,. That's the reason why I stress so much, or stress like that, uh, stuff like that so much. Because there is a certain way, a certain way of acting 
that I don't want to give up that I think is kind of integral to how I am as a person and how to my communities are. And I understand that that's not for everyone. And if that's not to your taste, then it's I'm not going to be offended if you choose not to interact with us on that sort of level. I would appreciate if you still visited my streams um, in spite of that, but if you feel that I... If you feel that we are a community that you, on moral or ethical grounds, can't coexist with, then that's fine. Shit sucks. There are some VTubers that they might be fine otherwise, but just on things that go a little bit beyond that, I cannot feel comfortable being with them. Like, um, like for example, um, I was just telling a VTuber that. There's a VTuber I recently raided into, who seemed really cool, has a nice vibe and everything, and I was going to make them part of my, part of my usual rotation of VTubers that I visit regularly, to go listen in on, because they, they do a really good ASMR stream. But, um, while searching something on their Discord that was completely unrelated, I accidentally fell upon a political rant. And political rants are, you no, know, they happen, right? Everyone has their own opinions and stuff. They happen in my Discord, they happen in other people's Discords. What turned me off about this VTuber was... Um... While their opinions were understandable, the way they conducted it was in such a way that... was... disagreeable and kind of, um, uncomfy to use it to, for lack of a better word. Like, um... I understand where they're coming from, and I respect their opinions and why how they came to these conclusions. But it was their the way they approach those opinions and the way they're not just them, the community, the way their community treats people of such of said differing opinions is not something that I can support openly or even internally. I literally do not feel safe in their community. I feel this is the kind of place that I feel like if I were to say or do something, I would actually feel unsafe for my life because, or I would, I would feel unsafe as a streamer and as a person. I mean, there are some things that even me having explained in my, in our, in our how our Discord's very politically incorrect, that I just cannot find acceptable and cannot in good conscience be behind, all right? I mean, there are things also that are said in anger that I, I see a lot of sussy shit in anger, when, in anger when I'm upset or when there's when I feel super self-righteous. I understand also that just because you feel super self-righteous about something or just because you've had a history of trauma or you had a bad or something bad happened to you or whatever, no matter how you feel about someone or something, there are just some things that... It's better if you keep to yourself and you shouldn't say in a public space. Or at least if you do, accept that some people will see that, some people will judge you for that. And you need to be okay with the fact that some people will just disagree with that. I mean, it's like as far as I've seen so far, a lot of people get cancelled. Just, just the other day, Charlie, of uh, also known as um, Penguins, also known as... Um, Moist Critical, he was being cancelled on Twitter for some dumb shit. Something he said about Overwatch or whatever. Now, Charlie does not give a shit if he's cancelled. In fact, it's next to impossible to cancel Charlie for the fact he doesn't give a shit what anyone thinks. <laughs> I'm, girl, I'm trying to be like Charlie in the sense that there's a lot of things that I actually could be cancelled for, even right now, even in this chat. And... At the same time, the kind of people who would cancel me or my community are actually the kind of people that I don't want to hang out with or be friends with anyway, so I really don't give a shit. And there's there's some people, unfortunately, that I'm mutuals with, that I'm friends, that if not friends, that I'm close with in the YouTube community, that I feel like if they were to get to know me a little bit more or they were to listen in on some of these conversations or go through our Discord, I'm sure... They would find something to hate, and unfortunately, they would probably then decide to ghost me or um, unfollow me. I had a sneaking suspicion that some people have already done that over the past year that have been VTubing. 
it's upsetting at first. But then you realize that on on a positive note, I'm glad that they've chosen to just unfollow me instead of shit talk me behind my back or instead of try to do some stupid cancel thing or, you know, go to VTuber cringe or something and try to start drama. Not that VTuber cringe would do anything about someone like me anyway. He only goes after people that make a big deal out of shit. I digress. Even the, even saying the fray, even saying the handle VTuber cringe is enough to get you cancelled. <laughs> I digress. But, um... Where was I going with this? I'm rambling again, chat. I'm so sorry. I do this a lot. I guess this is a lot of, this is a lot of, these are a lot of topics that I've always wanted to discuss in stream that I really get the chance to because most of the time on stream it's the weekday or I'm half asleep or I'm just doing something intense. And that's actually what I had planned for today's stream was really to play Cyberpunk and to discuss, to just shoot the shit with y'all, to talk about stuff. I feel like I don't do enough of these just chatting streams. I should probably switch to just chatting as a category, but I don't think anyone's going to give care that much if they see here and be like, oh, herp derp, this person is on Cyberpunk 2077, but they're just a VTuber that's just talking about stupid shit no one cares about. And if you are the kind of person that's thinking that right now, if you look at, listen to the background, you can clearly hear the sound effects of Cyberpunk 2077. See? Behold, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> but, um... I completely lost what I was talking about, chat. It just kind of went all over the place. Something something uh, being cancelled, something something striking a fine line between what you can't, should or should not talk about. Something, something. Boundaries, something, something, something. But yeah. Um, my personal boundaries when it comes to content creation. I don't... Parasocial relationships is where you get started. Yeah, it's where I got started. And I guess part of the reason why I ramble is because... On some level, a lot of this stuff is connected, right? Because... I mean, one could argue that me stumbling upon a political rant in this run of YouTubers Discord channel should not turn me off of their streams, which are completely different, which are not related to the politics at all, which are otherwise nice, right? Ideally, it should not affect how I see them as a person or as a streamer or as a YouTuber. Unfortunately, on a subconscious level, it does. And it's unfortunate that, that that happens. We should strive to have a separation of streamer and content creator. Y'all don't need to agree with me on a personal level to enjoy my streams. And I hope that that's not a breaking point for you. But given that humans are Given that humans are programmed in this manner, it's totally understandable if that ever becomes the case. I'm not going to hate you or dislike you. I'll be disappointed, but I'll understand that that's just how things are. It fucking sucks, but what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, coming. thanks for coming to my TED Talk. For those of you who are still listening in Lynn, who have not tuned out, oh, thank you so much for the headpats and the uh, many emojis, uh, wiggle emojis. For those of you who have not tuned off my crazy ranting about parasocial relationships at Al, I would also like to let you know, November 5th, my VTuber birthday, a full year of VTubing, we're going to be doing something. I'm not entirely sure yet, yet. I'm not sure entirely sure what yet. It is a Saturday, but I want to make it an all-day affair. I want us to do off on stuff. Ah! At the very ah, psh, be slimed. So can you save some? Can you save some of that for later? Yeah, that's right. I saw what you're conspiring with them, boy. At the very least, I want us to do something together for sure. Maybe some Jackbox. Maybe some VR chat meetups. Anything. 
something that is super interactive. Definitely not going to be involving, um, it's probably not going to involve me just freaking playing video games and occasionally getting salty on stream. Don't actually, don't worry, you're actually pretty low in channel points. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of surprised that no one has thought to do a system to crash the stream yet. Thank you for contributing to the blue chip challenge. You're back to 1k. <laughs> Thank you for your contributions, everyone. At this rate, we're probably going to be hitting the blue chip challenge by November 5th. Here's some punishment potential next stream. I'm glad to hear it. And also, by the way, if at any time y'all, um, if y'all are into, if there's something that y'all would like me to do on stream, or think it would be fun to do on stream, on, on November 5th, on our birthday, please, 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 do not hesitate to let me know. Whether through DMs or Discord or on stream, we are going to go ahead and collect, and uh, mods, if you can, if you can be so dear, is to help me collect ideas for what could be done in stream. Please let me do. I want my first anniversary to be a blast. I want us all to have fun. Ring fit? I could do ring fit. I have ring fit, you know. Now, I don't think I could connect that with my V-Roid avatar, but I could probably... I, could, I don't think I could do that, connect that with my V-Roid avatar, but I could connect it. I could just use my PNG for that thing. But yes, I do have ring fit. I have a bunch of Nintendo Switch games too, so if you want to like share friend codes and whatever, if you want to guy if you all want to do something on uh, Nintendo products, let me know. Do yeah. that. Lag be damned because Nintendo Online is very laggy. Hmm. Woo! Oh man. Give me a second here. If it looks like I'm just leaning back in my chair, because I am. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm awake, I'm awake. It's just... This only happens on Saturdays. I like, if I like get really animated and like I talk for a while, non-stop, my whole body feels numb and kind of fuzzy. You're gonna send me so many hentai games on Switch? Can you really? You know what, um... Chat, uh... I was actually, you know what? Actually, um... Bring it up. How would you feel about me making, you know, other streaming accounts for, uh, streaming content that, um, may not be appropriate on Twitch. I'm certainly not a lewd tuber by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm not against creating other networks and other avenues for uh, growth and um, content that would not be appropriate from one area, but would be appropriate for another area. Honestly, do what I want? Alright, I'll think about it. You just don't want to, you don't want to stretch yourself too thin, you know. It's better to have fewer social media accounts that you use actively than to have a whole bunch that are always empty. I can tell you right now, I'm planning on making a Tumblr account. I'll be using this to host my NaNoWriMo writings. It'll be in character for Lolo Hex the character. So that'll be a thing soon. I want to make some YouTube shorts and I want to make some YouTube videos. I have an idea for one that is should be fairly simple to make but also unsimple. It will involve Warhammer in a certain way. You'll be surprised though. Those... So that will definitely be a thing in the near future. Gosh. Hmm. Have I just been talking straight for the past half an hour or more? It's been a while since I had such a long, uh, just chatting stream. 
Not sad cat dance? I could probably do the sad cat dance too. I'd have to update my model to give me booba. Or at least more obvious booba. This is actually the uh, female avatar for Vroid. Although, the whole point is that you shouldn't be able to tell if I am male or female. After all, I am non-binary. Man, this respawn gummy, th uh, respawn gum is fucking amazing. I need to buy more of this shit later. Maybe when I go out later for uh, doing running some errands. So, um, is there anything that you all would like to talk about? I do. I am planning to hang out with Application Vimboy on in VR chat in the very near future. Probably sometime either later today or sometime tomorrow. They were just play. He are they were just playing Beat Saber earlier this morning here in Australia, which is so it's kind of late their time. But I think I've told you all this before. I've been meaning to get back into virtual reality for a while. I've just been avoiding it because. Well, because of my ex. But, I mean, it's been more than a year, and I found out that they already moved on to someone new, so. It's, time, it's been a long time for me to move on, and, and I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of slow about that sort of thing. But, I've been habitually avoiding them everywhere, just because, you know, I don't know. That's not an excuse. I can't allow stuff like that to hold me back as a content creator. When I first started streaming, I wanted to make virtual reality a big part of my content, and it's been a while since we've done any virtual reality stuff, and I wanted to get back into that. I also want to work on my VWave model again, on my uh, VR chat model again. I need to rewatch uh, a bunch of VROID tutorials, look at some knowledge in Blender, a little bit of knowledge in Unity. If any of y'all play VR chat, have your own model, or would like to hang out, you don't need to have a virtual reality headset to even use VR chat. You can just use desktop mode. But if, if any of y'all would be interested in hanging out on a virtual level, let me know. We will work something out together. Let me get back through chat really quick, because y'all were posting a lot of stuff while I was kind of lost, just talking and ranting and stuff. Blaze <laughs> internet, uh, perquil, boy, protect lawler, wiggle wiggle wiggle, which. Bring fit, head pads, many head pads. <laughs> Alright. So. More Cyberpunk 2077? The belly button is important. That's why lately I've been moving myself back out so you can see my tummy. Glorious, glorious tum tum. Camelot. Alright. And with that, without further ado, get back to playing the game, huh? Right. 
Help, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, 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 welcome. Just playing some Cyberpunk 27. I just uh, took a break to do some just chatting for a while. Covered some, I covered some topics. So we're just getting now getting back to the game. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. To... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I forgot how to brain dance. It's been a while. There we go. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. In a Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Before that, though, let's scan the security of this place, shall we? Here we go. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Rewind. <laughs> You look like I cut that fuck on the meat. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Very nice. I 
can't wait until we get to smash Adam Smasher, to be honest. No. Father. Was a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Sabro is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's decent. Removed from the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in some no, fossilized just the price. vision of a world Same bubbly you'll be no sipping in real space exists. soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I Man, I wish I could taste that champagne from here. I got the... I have an idea of what champagne's supposed to taste like. I was able to consume data on that fairly easily. However, it's not the same thing as drinking it for the real, real deal. Even in the 2070s, y'all have only been able to simulate senses. I can only imagine that what these senses must feel like in a real human body must be vastly superior. And I continue to look forward to the day that I'll get to experience those same senses. Quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no. provide them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh. He is such a fucking sub, and Evelyn is such a dom. Oh my god. <laughs> Got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Hmm. You might find out later. No rush, after all. Or you could be a switch like I am. <laughs> See if there's any more stuff we here we can find. You don't get too much? You don't get much too scared? Fair enough. There's no rush anyway. Very nice. But come here. Venus nanogel. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. Let's see what we got here. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Mm-hmm. I was wondering if something here in behind the TV. I know there's more security to look through here. We'll need to find it. Mm. 
Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. There we go, thermal layer. You need to upgrade your GPU and CPU so you can run 1080 streams and also 1450 games easily. What's your GPU and CPU right now? My rig's pretty old, but I was able to put a 3080 in my current computer. Unfortunately, the MOBO and everything else about it is more than five years old, and it's starting to, I feel like it's starting to reach its end of life. So I've been actually saving up money to replace the whole thing. An i7 in 2070? I see. Oh yeah, thermal vision. Want to upgrade to a 30 series? Good deal. Also need a new SSC to put your OS on since the current one is running out of space. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Donaghy's. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. <laughs> on a dark oh the dark type beta is out yeah um i just actually got an email from them last night saying that i'm in the beta so i can download the game now i've been looking forward to playing dark tide for a while too if it's the i if it's decent i probably pick it up to pick it up and stream it a little bit since i always want to play as an imperial guardsman mm-hmm Same. It's a shame you can't play a tech priest in that game. You can play the uh, Ecclesiarchy type priest. Mm -hmm. You have to use a uh, chainsaw and all that. A chainsaw a bit. Who's my favorite legion? The salamanders, huh? Uh, I forgot the name Just of it. Just a fancy ass fridge. But I'm a fan of the. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. I'm a fan of the. Um... I forgot the name of them. I don't think they're the. I don't think they're the. Imperial. It might be actually the emperor's fists. Um, the one that's, who's, the one who's, um, the one who's Primarch, uh, has something to do with Nordic mythology. Something about Fenrir or something? I forgot their name. Something to do with wolves. Is that Space Wolves? Why did I think it was the Imperial Fist then? My bad. Rogal Doran is also pretty cool, I suppose. I'm also partial to the Blood Ravens because of playing Dawn of War. Yeah, Empress Fist is yellow. I think the wolves are like gray, right? Gray, blue. Mm hmm. I know where the case is. I know it's over here, but she's not close enough to see it. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, here it is. Such a weird angle that you're able to find it. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. We are not quitting out as editor until we scan all the security in this apartment. See soon enough. I noticed something behind here. The problem is, how do I? Where is this? I know there's more security systems in this. But where? Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. I miss this. You. I know. It is ugly mug. Rewind a bit. We gotta find it. There's one more thing in here. Yeah, Look, it's, it's, secure. it's like I'm really. Ah, uh, you like this. I swear it's there. I know it's in here somewhere. Honestly, where is it? Dumb. Here we go. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers gotta be fancy doodads in here. Need to be controlled.
There's one more thing here to look for, chat. And I'm trying to figure out where it is. Where is it, though? Excuse me. Ninety-six percent chrome. over there. Right here. There it is. Is there more? They didn't save. Here it is. An automated turret? Damn. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Here we go. Managed to get all the security slips on file. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cache on your data. You were never here. That's good to know. Sorry for pissing you off, Judy. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. No problem, Silas. Thank you so much for coming. Knocking on my door. You have Judy, a great rest relax. of your weekend. If I don't see you before the before happen. next Monday, <laughs> Evelyn, please. Have a good day. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thanks, Judy. Really. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. V. Hey, let's walk. Uh-oh, what are we talking about? Well, what do you think? 
Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Wins are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. <laughs> so it's just about the sex. Biz. And biz only. You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You wanna fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight. Your choice. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer is the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that chip without that buy. To work then, Miss V. Needed. I guess it's gonna be OP a little bit while. Until we actually continue the rest of the or complete, or rather, it's gonna be well until we complete this. No problem, Jackie. Anything for you, big bro? 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada, yada, yada. All the while, I'm angling to get a word in because I need her to cover for me that afternoon when I go to pick my daughter up from preschool. But it's chill, you know. Then, this guy stumbles in, whacked out, almost knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape shit inside? Yeah, yeah, I'll... Nah, get this. I... 
Shum says he wants real fun, real flesh, right, punching oh. animal like. No virtue shit. He knows it's not allowed, but he'll pay triple. So Gina, what she do? Drags the gonk back to a box. Guy's so high, he <laughs> thinks the BD trolls are some fancy ass toy. And Gina loads the orgy with the infinite loop orgasm at the end. <laughs> You're kidding. And he couldn't tell? Nah, come on. Even when they're sober, still think that Bukaki finish is real. I suppose they all, if you believe anything is real. What even is real anyway, right? This exists in real in Loot Space World at the release. I've been to more than a few. Not really as chill as this though. If only because brain dances aren't a thing yet. Well, lucky me and not so lucky me. They weren't always enjoyable, you know. I kind of I actually prefer pubs, clubs, if I'm being honest. Or from home currently I do, yeah. I've been to something like this in the virtual in virtual reality and in real life. How is it? Uh, hmm. It's convenient. The fact that I can just literally roll out of bed, sign in to work immediately, like within minutes, in my pajamas. Oh, it's very nice. Very distracting, but very comfortable. You don't need to always. You don't need to worry about people looking over your shoulder. You get to pretty much do your thing at your own pace. My work does not require cameras to be on. They don't track, they don't really need, they don't track what you're doing to maintain your productivity or anything like that. So it's fairly relaxing. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's also how I'm able to watch so many VTubers. I just put them on YouTube in the background while I'm working. I could do that to an extent at work, but I'd have to be really careful and hide it. No one's going to give me shit for looking at my phone either. There are plenty of like upsides to working from home. Another upside is I don't need to drive through the snow to get to my office anymore. Keep doing so. You'll have a, you'll end one eventually, I'm sure. Just make sure you read the fine print. Like I said, some com yeah, I fucking hate commuting too. Uh, I've saved a lot of gas and a lot of uh, car maintenance, not having to commute anymore for the past two years. I actually did have to go to the office one time for when systems failed and I had to work in my cubicle, and you know it was really comfy there because at the time because our remaining office what little office we have left very few people were in the building anymore and even then my supervisors weren't there so it's not like they're going to look over my bo over my shoulder anyway but i knew it was only comfortable because it was no longer regular you didn't have to wear a dress code or anything like that anymore i think if i can help it i don't want to work in an office ever again 
Either I'm going to be complete. Either I'm going to stay work from home, or I'm going to be self-employed. Yeah, I hate offices too. All the gossiping, all the diseases that fly around, the noise, the workplace culture. Yeah, fuck offices. Be careful. You might get an STD. <laughs> I kid, of course, but they're not exactly the most sanitary places, are they? Hmm. No, probably not. Maybe not. A problem? Well, that's fun. Pretty much almost completely maxed out the quick hacking. A little bit more near. I want to be able to craft my own weapons as well. So we'll go ahead and put some points into technical ability as well. I want to do some body as well, but uh. As long as I keep myself from, you know, going stupid and getting myself killed. It should be okay. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go do some missions around town. There's an NPC D assault in progress, so let's see if we can help out there. Wow, these guys are pricks. Shit, they saw me. Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh shit, that's an explosive, that's a grenade. There is no cover here. This is terrible. Yeah. 
and they are on Avery Corner. What the shit? My God, this is terrible. How are you shooting me from that far away? Do I even have a sniper rifle with me anymore, or did I toss mine? I keep finding myself having to go back to this thing, you know? Oh, you got shot in the face. Well, that was my first death today. Let's do our good deed for a day. This time, hopefully, without getting myself killed. Oh yeah, managed to reach all of them, really decently that time too. Sorry, Contagion. Didn't do much damage to him, did it? Let's see if we can set one of them on fire. Wish the game would show me who it is that is trying to hack me right now. If I was able to break his face before it happened, it looks like. This is a fairly fast re fast um recharging cyber deck too. But not too bad. I'm gonna figure out where I am fairly soon. Fortunately. Looks like I was able to take that guy out though. But he's still trying to reverse hack me. We need to break. I thought. I guess breaking line of science now. Enough. No, that worked. Surprisingly enough. damage then. Do you have any explosives right now? None? Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. 
Got some street cred. No problem. Have a nice shower and have good tasty foods. I'm gonna be playing here for about maybe a few more minutes and then I'll call it a stream. Thanks for stopping by, Star Werewolf. Hope you have a good weekend if I don't see you. You're gonna fuck it so hard you can't walk straight. Let's fucking go! Ah, these poor fuck. Poor, poor, poor fucks. That's unfortunate. Cocksucker's dealing on our turf. Fuck him up bad enough to hold his trick here's about. Boss wants a lesson learned. Where are they at? B-ball coordinator to med center. Sir done, buzzing the rest of the crew now. That sucks. Shit. So I don't fuck around with drugs, Kiva. Because then you get visited by people like me. We're going to take your warm cycle for a joyride. Woo! Yeah, it actually worked. Pardon me surprised, chap. Honestly. I wonder if we would be able to, to stop this cyber psycho. Lieutenant Mower. Sounds like he would mow us down if I tried to take him on, right, chap? Now, four minutes, though. Let's see what we can do, I think.
test our luck on this cyber psycho. Oh no, I remember this one. Don't rub me. Military gets fucked up and he gets fucked over we're fighting this guy. Code red, Lieutenant Mark, total level critical. Symptoms of cyber psychosis, results of telephone consultation with the physician, negative, treatment impossible. Target is located in attached coordinates waiting for paramedics to arrive, surprise attack possible. Target is armed with military grade combat implants. Highest caution as advice upon neutralization of threats. Send report via encrypted channels. Who would have thought? Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna take this guy out. We need stun gear. This applied to a good job with a good work from home job at a university. I hope you get it. Oh man, this guy's dead. Very dead. Oh man. The only way I'm gonna be able to fight this person is by sending them on fire and electrocuting them, it seems like. On the bright side, they don't seem to have any melee any Can we short circuit them aim fucking steady oh wait she has guns and she can cloak what the hell that's unexpected Thankfully, my attacks do fear enough for amount of damage. It's like. Because also, I have autism, and I think that helped me land more jobs because of quotas for diversity and such. Thanks for the stream, by the way. And also, the dark type beta is good. <clears throat> no problem. I'm glad. Thank you so much for coming to our stream, to my streams, and I'm glad you enjoy yourself. And I'm always happy to put on the show. <laughs> and no pro And I'm glad to hear the dark side, our dark type beta is good. I'll go ahead and download that now to try it out myself. You have a good day now. Aim fucking steady. Oh, you're not leaving yet? Okay. Well, don't let me rush you out the door or anything like that. After I beat the Cyber Psycho, we're probably going to end stream though. Oh my god. Oh, that was a bad idea. We just electrocuted ourselves, chat. She's at 65% health. Where did you go? Oh god. There's gotta be something here I could help us fight the fighter, but... I think... Oh, crap. Um, I appear to be on fire for some reason. We got her! Oh, 
You're at 56%. Tap the water for a stun. Yeah, like Bioshock, you need better quick hacking skills, brother. I definitely do, yeah. The only problem is you kind of need to pay for them, and I don't have the money for them at right at the moment. So, either that or I can craft my own, I'm sure. I think her attacks have fire damage or something. As long as I don't kill her, she'll be fine. This SMG is insane. Is this electrified? It is. What the hell? I'm out of health. It's do or die now, chap. Oh god. Alright. If I shoot her one more time, she's gonna die from blood loss. I need to... I need my cyber deck to... Damn it! So close. I'll get her this time though. Give me a second. You know, we really, you weren't kidding. We do need better quick hack stuff. Looks like we've respawned just outside the zone. You stink of junk food. Interesting. All right, let's try this again. Let it I'll rip out your spine. Oh god, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Sixty health. Fifty three health. Headshot. Headshot. I do not want to get stuck in the wall geometry, please, please, game. Game, please, come on. For fuck's sake! Why am I being electrocuted anyway? Oh my god, where are you? Come on. She can shoot around the freaking... That's just unfair. Because I can't see her. That's the problem. Also, I can't shoot her that much more or she's going to die. And I'm supposed to take her down non lethally is the problem. That's why I've been running around like this. And only been trying to use quick hacks. If I wanted to kill her, straight up kill her, I could have done so way earlier. But my quick hacks are also not reloading quite quickly enough. Come on. Alright, this should be it. There, good. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to kill her.
Code red, code red. Copy, reading the biomon, describe your symptoms. Convulsions, cramps, can't show off my implants, aggression. Understood. Biomon's data suggests an inevitable loss of control, soon. Oh my god, please, no. Don't call Max Tech, I just need some downers is all. Of course, don't worry, middle tech cares if it takes care of its own. Head to distress. It's an out of the way place, you won't be hurt. Won't be able to hurt anyone else there, anyone there. Our paramedics come get you and take you to a clinic. You'll be back to normal in a couple days. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. They look out for the corp. The look corp looks out for you. That's such a lie, though. They're going there to try and kill her. Mm -hmm. I did it. Let me... Ch it took a couple tries, at least, but... Not that bad. Man, though, she managed to kill a lot of them before she died. Oh, not died, but, you know, got taken out. So much loot to find. Game saved. Who are you rating? That's a good question. Let's find out. Hmm. Looks like Mai is currently doing a just chatting stream. She must be doing some more ASMR if I'm guessing. Oh, hand cam outboxing. <laughs> YouTube clips of, uh, I think, mm -hmm. I think it's probably Okayu. I think it was Okayu. So she's probably a sissy opening Oka figures with Uma figure. That That's cool. And we have of... have her rated my very recently, so I would like to read someone else for once. And there's quite a few people online this time. Elamago has a special event going on. Let's see what that special event is. No, of course I haven't. Watching Minecraft Live with Python Spire. Whatever that is. Yuriki chan is playing Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, it looks like he's looking through costumes, actually. He started about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Indeed it is. Yuriki chan is actually a pretty cool person. You could also possibly raid Mika, who over here, who is currently playing a flight sim. Looks like he's having a collab with Airshow, which is another who is a jet fighter VTuber. That's cool. I wonder if he is riding Airshow. <laughs> I'm kidding. So many choices, man. Mao is also doing a just chatting stream. This is another fanboy. A comfy fanboy. I know, right? It's very cute. What do you think? Should we uh, go ahead and raid Mika and uh, Airshow? Looks like they just started streaming too. They uh, started streaming around 36 minutes ago. Alright then. Let's lock it. Lock and loaded. I'm just impressed that I actually managed to lock onto him with the, um, the two GPs. Yep, first of all, texture loading. Oh boy. And last time raid, indeed it is. <laughs> All right, uh, air show. I have popped in. I'm gonna just fly straight to where you are with All the right, burner just to test things out. Once again, Chad, thank you for listening to me ramble and for attending today's stream. Steel, thank you for coming back just in time. Of course, and I look forward to seeing y'all here, seeing y'all again soon. Have a good weekend, everyone. And watch me forget that turn things on. You're very welcome.
I just heard my uh, missile warning go off, and I'm like, oh god, how me while I'm on the ground, and it's a raid. Thank you, Lulz, for the raid. <laughs> Classic. I love having...